Hi, I'm Shane with Dirt Warrior Accessories. This is Alex. Today we're going to teach you how to install the vault on a Pro R four seater. Um, we'll go through every component that it comes with and how to install it. So the tools we need today, real simple. We just have a screw. If, if you don't have a, a screw gun, you can use that. If not, you can use just a regular. We actually carry both in here. Um, this little pick just kind of helps you line some stuff up. You don't have to have it, but uh, then a 7 16 socket or ratchet and a T27 and that's pretty much all it takes. Is there anything that's going to come in the kit? This is just one side of it obviously but uh, you got your front panel, your back panel, your front door and your back door. All right first I'm going to install the front panel and uh, I have this one notched out for my mirror. Uh, we're going to have you guys notch out wherever you need to notch out for your mirror because we can't make it for all the mirrors, like you guys all run different mirrors. So uh, you are gonna have to notch out your, your mirror spot and I already went ahead and did that. But I'm gonna put this on, I'm just gonna slide it on here, get it lined up. I already uh, put a cage clamp on here and uh, it's the flat faces out. So I got my cage clamp on there, I'm gonna slide this into place. I'm going to go ahead and start it. I'm not going to tighten it down all the way. We'll tighten it down at the end. But because we're just going to adjust it and get all the gaps filled in. But for now, I'm just going to get it on there. Hand tight and snug. We'll do that. Now we'll do the back panel. And this one, you're going to, you're going to want help if you can. I mean, it's doable by yourself, but it's not a... It's just easier if you have help. Okay, and I, uh, same thing. I went ahead and put my cage clamps on here. Uh, there's one in the bottom in between these two like weld gussets. And then there's one at the top in between this bar and your plastic. All right, now I'm just loosely putting everything on. I'm starting with the bottom one. Okay, now, like I said earlier, just finger tight. I'm gonna roll this over to the outside of the bar, and it sits on this shoulder over here. And now we're gonna do the same thing to the top one. Okay, now that I got those fingers tight, you can kind of put it in the position it's going to be. But like I said, we're not going to tighten it. We got our panels in. We're going to take and work on the door. Your factory door comes with this little rubber gasket, and we're going to take it off. And we're actually not going to use it anymore. You can save it for later if you ever want it, but we're not going to use it anymore. And then I already went ahead and put them in there, but there's these clips that uh, have the threads in the back of them. And we're just going to slide them onto these four factory holes in your door. So they're already on there, ready to go now. And then we're going to take off our latch. Uh, it's a two bolts that are holding it in. It's a T27. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And we're actually getting rid of those two. We're supplying you with these clips and uh, two four millimeter Allen head. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put our door on. We're gonna use the four millimeter Allen bolts that I just talked about and the shortest uh, Phillips bolts that come in your kit. Uh, so it's easier to have help. So Shane's gonna hold this door up while I line it all up. There's a lip on this and the outside is gonna sit on top of your door. And then the lower piece lines up with these clips you just put in your door. And I'm still putting everything loose in. I'm not putting it tight yet. We're going to tighten everything down right at the very end once we get it all aligned the way we like.
All right, now you're gonna hold your latch in the back, put pressure on it and put these two in. Just snug those down a little bit. Okay. Now, the last part of this is uh, this little clip right here is gonna go on this part right here. So it just, it just works like uh, you just turn it and it clamps it. And then the screw side of it goes on the back. So I'll put that on there, tighten up the back. Okay. All right, now we're gonna take our bolts off the back door. It's the same thing as the front. We're taking the latch bolts out and then three of the bolts that hold the plastics on. It's this one, this one, and this lower one. Now what we gotta do is we gotta take this clip that we supply and we're replacing it on this. So you gotta take your door panel off and replace the factory clip and replace it with one of these. I've already went ahead and did that on this one, so we're not gonna do that, but yeah. All right, now we're gonna throw the door on and it's pretty much the same thing. These holes are gonna line up to those holes and uh, the two long ones, the two longest bolts you have go on these two holes. The shortest one goes on the bottom one and then the two Allen heads replace your factory bolts right here. Now I'm gonna hold the latch just like I did on the front door. From behind and go through our door. Okay guys, now that it's everything's all loosely on, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut the doors. And we're gonna move everything accordingly. Once we get all our gaps filled and our everything's lining up the way we want it, all we do is tighten everything down right where it is.
All right, so we're sealing off our door latch once you're in there with this flap right here. It just opens and closes. Uh, when you're in the car and you want not air to not come through there, you can just close it. But when it's closed and on the car, uh, you just push that your way so you can get to your latch right there. Uh, our handles up here lock in the top of it to seal it all off. Uh, it just opens and closes just like that. Uh, on the back, we have another flap. It's just a different style. And it uh, allows you to still put your hand in there and get at the latch. And then same thing up right here, right? And then uh, the back door actually sits on top of the front door when you're when you're riding, but you can still open just the front door. It's still gonna tuck up under it, under it, the back door. Just like that. One other, one other trick you can do too, if you end up with some kind of a gap or anything showing, this trim actually has a half inch worth of play. You can push this up a little bit. You can see how much it can move to help seal off any places so it seals pretty good, you know, just like this here, once it's in there, you know, if you had to, you could move some of this bulb around a little bit to trim that entire window off. That's how you install it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have social media, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, at Dirt Warrior Accessories. Thanks, guys.